Hi Tina, this is part D, uh, my practical exam. So the first one we're going to start with is O'Brien's test. So I'm going to have Cassidy stick her arm out like so and tilt her thumb down. Yep, and I'm going to apply um, elevation resistance and then she, I'm going to have her turn her hand so her thumb is up. Yep, and when she is rotated down, if that is more painful than when she's rotated up, that is a positive sign for um, an AC joint injury. And then the next one we're going to do is called the compression or crossover maneuver. So we're simply going to go here and cross, cross her chest. If that increases pain, that is also positive for an AC injury. And the next one that we're going to do is the AC resistant. Um, so she's going to go like this, I'll put my hand here. And I'm going to have her try to push out while I resist her motion. Yep. And if that increases pain or if it's super, super weak, uh, AC joint. Oh no, not Siri, not Siri. Oh God, not Siri, pause. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then the next one is the painful arc side. So um, I'm gonna have her bring her arm up to <laughs> turn her head slowly and slowly drop. And if she experiences pain between 60 and 120 degrees during this arc, that is a positive sign for um, possible saps. And then next one is Hawkins Kennedy. So I'm going to have her start like so. And I am going to gently internally rotate her arm and shoulder. And um, if she has apprehension with that or the, her pain increases, that is a positive sign um, also for sex. And then the next one is external lag sign. So she is going to start here. I'm going to support at the elbow and hand wrist area, slowly move her passively into full external. Then I'm going to come back about five degrees and I'm going to have you try to hold this here. Um, so this is a negative sign. A positive sign would be if she slowly crept in and wasn't able to hold this external position, and that would be a positive sign for possible saps and also um, a weak infraspinatus and teres minor. And the last one I'm going to do is external rotation resistance um, or strength test. So yeah, I'm going to have her in a 90 degree angle right by her side, and I'm going to apply resistive force. Yep. And if that were to be weak or increase pain, then she would have a positive sign for impersonitis or a teres minor um, injury.